It's the OFFL opening weekend. The U10 Waterloo Junior Warriors taking the field at St. David High School in Waterloo. The Warriors would host the Hamilton Junior Ticats on Sunday morning. Jumping to the first quarter, and it's a good start for the Ticats offense. It's a QB keeper run from Malachi Reed. He takes off down the near sideline. Scott Kachik hunts him down and takes him out at the Warriors 15 yard line. The Ticats set up to score, and on the next play, they do just that. It's a short pass from Ace Travis. He floats it over to Malachi Reed, and Malachi takes off. Malachi's looking for the corner, and he's in there! So it's 6 0 Ticats heading to the second quarter. In the second quarter now, the Warriors on second and long looking for a first. Here's Cassius Fonseca on the carry for Waterloo. He's good for a first down, and the Warriors move downfield. A good run from Cass, and the Warriors would give it back to him moments later. Cassius works his way outside before cutting back in and blowing by a couple tie cats. Frankie Longo locks up Fonseca, but Cass keeps battling. He shakes off the tackle, and Cass is in there for an answering touchdown. So it's 6-6. Late in the quarter, now the Ticats looking to get something started here before the half, but look out for the Warriors on defense. Giovanni Guevara breaks the line and takes out the runner with a great tackle, so we head to the half all tied up at 6-6. In the third quarter, now the Warriors offense back in the picture. This is Josiah Brown with the ball for Waterloo. He cuts back inside, and the Warriors would convert on the first down. Later on that same possession, and it's a handoff for Scott Kachik. Scott picks up speed and takes off down the far sideline. It's wide open green for Scott Kachik, and he won't be stopped! And just like that, it's 12-6 Warriors. The Ticats trailing, but it wouldn't be long before they'd answer. It's another QB keeper run from Malachi Reed. He sidesteps a tackle and takes off downfield. It's a great block from Marcellus Bowman, and Malachi keeps trucking. He's got a trailer, but he won't be caught! And after a great kick from Reed Ward, the Ticats take a 14-12 lead. Head to the fourth quarter, now the Ticats back with the ball. It's another good run from Malachi Reed. He's got a spin move and he looks for the end zone. Ace Ninnebert with a great tackle puts a stop to the run deep in Warriors territory. A good tackle from Ace Ninnebert and a few plays later it's Carter Ninnebert with a grab of his own. He takes down Malachi Reed and the Warriors look to rally the storm. Here on third down, however, it's the Ticats QB Malachi Reed going for another run. He spins out of a tackle and takes off down the far sideline. He's into open space, and this time he's in there for another Ticats touchdown. So it's 22-12 Ticats. The Warriors still battling hard and late in the fourth quarter, it's Cassius Fonseca breaking away down the far sideline. Malachi Reed is trailing Cass, and he gets enough of him to send him out of bounds. The Warriors offense unrelenting, however, and on the next play, it's Scott Kachik getting it done. He flies into the end zone, and the Warriors pull back within three. But with a late touchdown from Marcellus Bowman, the Hamilton Junior Ticats hold on for the win. They take it on the road over the Waterloo Junior Warriors. This one ending with a final score of 28-19 on Sunday morning.